Look at this for a second. Nikola Jokic brings it down half court and pulls up a half court shot like it's nothing and drains it. The dude is just nonchalant. And if you look at his stats in the last six games, you would think that these are video game numbers. Dropping 104 points in the last two games and trying his best to carry this Nuggets team without Jamal Murray. Shout out to BetUS, and well in today's video, we're gonna be breaking down film on Nikola Jokic and telling you why he's the best player in the NBA. When we talk about being the best player in the NBA, the most valuable player in the NBA, you think about impact. And while well, when Nikola Jokic isn't on the floor, the Denver Nuggets rank 30th in offense, and they're practically a terrible team without him. And when Jokic is on the floor, the Denver Nuggets are ranked first in offense. If that doesn't scream valuable, then I don't know what does. And well, instead of calling it the National Basketball Association, I think we're going to call it the Nikola Basketball Association because he's absolutely dominating this league. He is second in scoring, first in rebounding, second in assists, second in three-point percentage, and sixth in steals. These stats all scream dominance, but we have to see how this translates on the floor. How is he doing all this? Well, it all begins with the Nugget system. They do everything in their power to get Nikola Jokic open. And if it means getting Christian Braun to set you a screen, then coming off of it to knock a mid-range shot, then that's what you gotta do. The Nuggets also run the same play back and get Christian Braun to set Jokic another screen. But instead of pulling up in the mid-range this time, he can just pump fake and get into the pain. This is what I like to call, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And while this Nuggets team is all about screens, all you need to do is set Jokic a screen so he has a little bit of room to shoot the three-pointer and knock it down. But what Westbrook has been doing on the playmaking side also needs to be talked about because he'd be bringing the ball down from half court and sprinting before the defense gets set so we could give it to MPJ, then MPJ could give it to Jokic. Playing with pace and not letting the defense get set means there is a very low chance that Nikola Jokic could get double teamed. There's also a part of Nikola Jokic's game that nobody's really talking about. Before we talk about that, shout out to BetUS because you could actually go on their website and bet on Nikola Jokic to win the MVP. I am doing this personally. I think he's the best player on the planet. You guys see the numbers, 104 points in two games. Come on, man. And well, if you guys want to place this too, BetUS is offering a 150% bonus on your first three deposits up to $2,000 with Cody2150. But there is a part of Jokic's game that nobody is talking about and this is pace. When Jokic needs to, he will sprint it down the floor and get the matchup he wants. But when the double team comes again, he just manipulates the defense and gets himself a foul and has enough concentration to hit an and one bucket. Jokic is just so dominant you can't stop him. Even the fans are doing the craziest things in the world like putting on a horse mask and saying dad I miss you for Nikola Jokic to miss his free throws. But I saw an MVP standings prediction from a basketball player named Lou Williams and where he placed Nikola Jokic will shock you. Number four, I'm going to go uh, Nikola Jokic. This is, this is unpopular. He's out, of my top, he's out of my top three because they're barely 500 and he was the MVP last year. How has he been winning? He's done everything he can possibly do. But again, sometimes we, we toe that line between winning and stat and your impact. Super impactful. One of the best players in the league, if not the best player, but it hadn't showed in their record so far that he's- How in the world do you put Nikola Jokic number four and, and just say that it's the record? When you're off the court and your offense is ranked 30th, then you're on it and it's ranked first. Doesn't that show valuableness? Doesn't that show that these record stuff shouldn't be looked at? But you know, it's all good. Let's see who we put in front of Nikola Jokic. Donovan Mitchell? Okay, Donovan Mitchell's been having a good season, but but come on, man. We're not saying the best team in the NBA. We're saying the most valuable player. Let me remind you, Nikola Jokic is the first NBA player since Will Chamberlain in 1963 to record back-to-back -back games with 45-plus points, 10-plus rebounds, and 5-plus assists. Hey, maybe I'm just delusional, but let's see who we ranked number two. Jason Tatum and number one Shea Gilgis Alexander which he's also having a pretty good season. I have complete respect for these guys that are on the list but to not put him top three is just disrespectful. And let me tell you why. When Jokic is off the floor the Denver Nuggets are 29th in net rating 
and when he's on the floor, they are first. But hey, maybe that's just luck. You know, no, it's, it's not luck. Because on field goal percentage, the Denver Nuggets are 30th in the NBA when he's not on the floor. And when he's on the floor, they are first. But I'm going to keep on going because three-point percentage. They are 28th in the NBA when he's not on the floor. And when he's on the floor, they are first. Assist to turnover ratio, they are 28th. And when he's on the floor, they are first. There is not a single player in the NBA right now doing these things. But Jokic is one of the craziest players in the NBA. He can go from missing a hook shot and doing everything in his power, literally, to get the ball back and go back up and make the shot. But you would think Jokic's scoring is complex. It clearly isn't. He would just get the ball in the mid-range, do a pound dribble, and just catapult it over your head. Even here, they would just give him the ball in the right side of the paint and he's isolated. Nothing complicated, just another job step and catapult it over the top of the defender. I'm really enjoying how this pick and roll action's working with Russell Westbrook. I like how it's going and when Jamal Murray could come back and nail three point shots, this pick and roll is going to be even more lethal. Even against the Atlanta Hawks, they ran off ball screens with Christian Braun again. And once again, when you screen Jokic, you get him open and that's all he needs to get the ball. Bucket. But what Jokic does every now and then is do handoffs with players. And when you're doing a handoff with a player like Christian Braun, who could shoot that three pointer, all you have to do is pop out from the handoff and you have a wide open three. And Nicole Jokic just knocks it down. Jokic is the first player to make playing basketball look like it's easy, look like it's just a hobby. And in reality, it's his main job. And he's making the best of the best teams look absolutely foolish. Look at last night, for example. He beat the Atlanta Hawks, who were on a seven-game win streak and just blew them out like they weren't even good. The Denver Nuggets are only three and a half games away from being in the second seed, and I really think once his team finds more connectivity, they could climb the ranks again and Jokic can get his guaranteed MVP again. There's also something called voters fatigue where they don't always want to give Jokic that MVP award because they want to see someone else win that MVP, but that doesn't really make sense. That's not fair. Because if I was to look at these stats right here on my screen, I couldn't even drop this on NBA 2K25. If I'm being completely honest, just give this man his MVP award and I can't wait to see this Nuggets team continue to get better. But in the comment section, I want you guys to tell me what do you guys think the Nuggets can do to help improve this team and make Jokic's job easier because he can't go and drop 50 points every single night. That is so taxing. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash that like. Hit that subscribe if you are new. We're almost at 20k subs, which is crazy. Thank you to BetUS for sponsoring today's video and I will catch you guys in the next one.